Before we get to the video topic, I'm often asked, what's the best CompTIA resources for studying for exams as far as books is concerned? In my humble opinion, the A plus book by David L. Prowse is the best, as well as the Network Plus book by Emmett Delaney is another good best. The good thing about the exam cram books that'll get you straight to the point, like if you're in the crunch for studying and you don't have a lot of time to study, the exam cram will do just fine. Mike Myers book is also awesome, but it, it is a little bit longer and it will take a little bit more time to study to get through the material. If you're studying for Security Plus, I would highly recommend Daryl Gibson. So I will leave these links down in the description below so that way you can get these books on Amazon. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Banner Boy Gaines back with another video. In this video, we're going to do a brief overview of the new CompTIA A Plus exam. Um, coming in January 2019, CompTIA is releasing the new CompTIA A Plus exam. The exam series will be the 220-1001 and the 220-1002. Uh, like I said, it will be released January 15, 2019. The current A Plus edition, 229-01 and 229-02, uh, would still be available and I will and I believe it will be available yeah until July 31st 2019 so pretty much you still have time to take your 900 series come to your A plus exam uh, so with that being said they have not released the price for the new 1000 series as you can see it says to be decided uh, but the current offering is $219 for the 900 series. So like I said, they have not released the price for the new exam. Uh, but I just want to skip down to what the new exam covers and what's new about it. So I do have the PDF that you can download. As a matter of fact, if you want to download the PDF for this exam, you can go here where it says click here to download the product guide for the new CompTIA A+. But going over the new exam, uh, let's see if we can see what's new in this thing. All right, so what's new in the exam? Uh, so it looks like they have things like uh, security is going to be kind of ramped up in this new edition. So uh, if you got things like device hardening for just PCs, uh, I'm sorry, device hardening, not just for PCs, but devices in general right here. Um, so instead of it being just a heavily focused securing PC type of exam, it looks like they're going to get into securing other devices besides PCs. Uh, another thing that caught my eye that's new in this exam is scripting basics. One thing that I can tell you working in IT, scripting will make your life and your job a lot easier. Instead of have to, having to manually do things, scripting can make your life a lot easy. Uh, it says use of remote access. Um, I'm wondering if they're talking about RDP. RDP is another one that's real good, you know. Um, so I definitely like that. As well as they're going to go to more cloud-based stuff too. So it looks like they're going to throw a little bit more cloud-based topics in there, which cloud, believe it or not, is, 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 the, is the future. The future is here. So if you definitely, you know, don't have any cloud knowledge, this exam would definitely be good to give you that. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I would like to, uh, for the most part, just looking at it, change management, change management is another one working in IT. So, you know, when you're going through any kind of change over the network or any change in your infrastructure or the way you're doing things, change management, definitely, I know plays affect a lot in my organization. So change management is real good. Let me see, disaster prevention and recovery is another huge one that I cannot overemphasize enough. So I definitely, so far looking at this exam, this exam definitely looks like it's more so, it covers the things that you need to know today, uh, which is definitely good. Instead of a lot of it being so PC based like the old traditional exams, this one is definitely uh, gonna have you future proof. So yeah, like I said, I don't wanna make this video too long. This is just a brief overview. If I figure out some more in-depth information regarding this new 1000 series, I will be doing another video. But in the meantime, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you can get these notifications when I do these videos. Again, I want to thank you guys for your support.